administrator at the same time showing the LIDAR data. So this is where you, you know, see all the, what's really going on in the scene, and this is what the LIDAR would uh, produce. So, you know, if you're outside of the range of the LIDAR, you don't see anything, but within you can clearly see the lane markings, and uh, which is not so easy to show that this is real 3D data, but you actually would know uh, that the objects there at various uh, heights and so on. So, and the other beauty is that, you know, let's say you were driving at night, you don't really need uh, ambient light because the sensor emits its own light. So you can use all this data to, you know, see these objects. Again, we just produced the 3D point cloud data, but you can imagine that customers that get this data and have software running, about, you know, on top of this uh, basically can identify what's stationary, what's moving, and so on. And typically, they can distinguish between cars and pedestrians and so on. So here's another typical use. This is a highway merge. So it's a very difficult problem if at high speed, if coming up to a T-junction, on this case, you're merging other cars and objects moving at very high speed uh, on the road you're merging with, so you don't have much time, and you need to identify these objects quickly without you know, a lot of computing horsepower, um, and then make a decision, are you gonna merge or not? So this is a very typical use case. Other people like civil maps, this is not uh, what data, 